Although the recent student protests against rape culture at Rhodes University attracted much needed media attention, this led to the university filing a temporary interdict against student protests on campus. The interdict was taken out on April 20 this year after a brutal collision between student protesters and the police force against the blocking of roads on campus and disruption of academic activities. Dr. Cesar Mabizela, Rhodes University Vice Chancellor, explains to us what the interim order is about. This is an interim interdict. Okay, I think one needs to understand this. An interim interdict, or an interdict more generally, is an order of the court. Uh, the, order of the, the order of the court, which in our context, reminds us as a community about our rights and our responsibilities. Dr. Mabizela further explains why the interim interdict was filed. That interdict clearly indicates that everyone has a right to a peaceful protest within the bounds of the law. So, and that is a constitutionally enshrined right. So no court can take that away. 38 out of the 85 concerned Rhodes University staff members appeared at the Grahamstown High Court against the finalizing of the interdict. The end result, the interim order has been postponed until the 1st of September this year. We want to negotiate with the university. We have been trying to negotiate with the university for a long time now, and we would like that to continue. Um, ideally, we would like to come to an agreement to withdraw the interdict, or at least to um, have an end date to the interdict. Rhodes University staff members have also attempted to talk management out of the interdict. As a group of concerned staff, we have already sent the, uni the university management three letters trying to engage in dialogue and pointing out to them that the interdict is not preventing criminal activity on campus. It is creating, it is stifling dissent, it is stifling debate, it is stifling political activity on campus. The interim, this interdict, it should not stake. Um, and hopefully on the 1st of September when the, because it's been, you know, moved to then, hopefully, you know, the, 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 the courts will actually hear us um, and not um, let it stake. Because there was absolutely no violence, there was absolutely no grounds for the interdict to stake. There was no death threats. We don't know anything about the basis of the, the interdict, but all we know is that um, as much as management claims that it, it's there for the rights, to protect our rights, it's, it's protecting the rights of the majority. And what about us, the minority, who are still being silenced? While the Vice Chancellor emphasizes that the interdict was taken out to protect the rights of students, some Rhodes University staff members beg to differ, seeing it as a silencing tactic. Now the question remains, will the interdict fall or will the law deem it permanent? This is Michal Intzaba for RTV News Tonight, Rhodes University, Grahamstown.